Okay, good morning. Um, I gotta hop in the shower here pretty quick, and um, I gotta still gotta lay down because I gotta work tonight. But uh, <clears throat> like I usually do, browsing the Twitch forums and uh, <clears throat> found a pretty good one here. Twitch call or by Yasuki Kitagawa. I think that's how it's pronounced. Twitch culture as a whole and being an older streamer, which being with being an older streamer myself. Go ahead and like this. Um just gonna do like I always do, just go on down the page, just comment on it. Here, let me uh let me make a little adjustment here first. Fan there. Move my mouse over here so I'm not doing this all the time. relationship with Twitch. Whereas uh I lean I lean more heavily on love than I do on hate. Great platform career come together as a community. Shares and participates in something they love. Yes I agree with that. As far as the vileness I've never <clears throat> I can't really recall I can't really recall ever having any uh, visitors that were like totally disgustingly vile. I mean, I had a, I got a couple visitors from time to time. Uh, one time they were talking about jerking off on their keyboards, but that's about it. I mean, nothing really troll, you know, no real troll attitudes toward me or anything like that. Um, I had that happen maybe one time uh, on YouTube, but that on that. Um, I'll take his word for it because uh, I won. I wouldn't put it past people, but I, I think he also needs to realize he might actually mention it farther down. But uh, there's uh, I mean, millions and millions of people that stream on Twitch, and they also watch streamers on Twitch. So you, you, it's not going to be a it's not going to be a perfect utopia. I mean, there's going to be you know they can't all be awesome people. You're going to have some bad guys in there too. Especially. Attitudes I see towards older gamers. I'm trying to pretend. Um, I mean, I see a. Uh, again, I don't. Our experiences are totally different on this. I mean, I. I can see it happening, but I don't. I'm an. I mean, I'm an older streamer myself, but I don't. Especially the attitudes I see towards. But like I said, I don't, I can't recall anything really toxic happening to me whenever I stream. I see the trolling in these chats. Huh? Um, I guess uh, being a super small streamer like myself is, has a, probably one, one advantage it has is I hardly get any visitors, therefore I hardly get any trolls. So, low risk, low reward on that. And um, I think it should also be said that uh, I tend to avoid popular streamers. Um, there's there's no magic number involved, but basically, if they're at the top of the they're at the top of the game page, I stay away from them. Uh, what I'll I mean, mainly, mainly because I'll type something on in chat and then whoosh, that, you know, statement disappears almost immediately. So at hardly any point in me being in there. Kind of like the matter. This the best younger, a lot of more obnoxious streamers and I've noticed some of the uh, older streamers that I really love start to act that way okay so he he okay so he got that too i was about to explain that exactly like pewdiepie well i've never seen any of his streams before so i guess i got personally seems like okay person but i'd be lying if i say it wasn't um back in the 90s there was a guy named tony little i mean he did these uh technique videos he'll go wild and crazy hey 
hey man, don't touch that dial, man. We'll be coming right back with some, some more great offers on a great exercise equipment. So stay right there, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you know, trying to go all nuts and obnoxious for uh, trying to keep people interested, trying to keep people from turning the channel. So that's, I think he gets that too. Um, in real life, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these, a lot of these streamers are like totally different in real life. They're probably just like, you know, the normal everyday person, nice, normal, courteous, you know, totally laid back and calm and, you know, doesn't try to rock the boat or anything, but when they get out, when they start streaming, all oh, they're totally different because, you know, it's, it basically, it's, it's, it's just business. You know, they're, they're trying to keep the viewers interested. They're trying to keep them from leaving, you know, um, uh, my theory on that is maybe, uh, they don't have an outside job like I do. So, you know, they're trying to, they're, they're basically living solely on donations. So they got to do what they can to, you know, there's a word I'm looking for there, but I, I don't have it. Uh, salesmanship, I guess that would be a, that'd be a good substitute. You know, they, you get the idea. I'm not saying it needs to be super serious all the time or anything like that. Doesn't need to be monocle this room. The bouncing off the wall shit posting is just becoming sooner. Um again, our experiences are different on that one. <clears throat> I don't even even back when I actually was trying to watch uh, big time streamers, the most they the most they ever did was talk more. They're more talkative, but again I think they have to be because you know, he got so many viewers over here, you know, trying to talk to him and he's trying to have to be everywhere at once, you know. I mean, if I ever had that happen to me, I'd go nuts. Have like all these people try to chat with me, you know, more voices in my chat box and in the, in the chat room I got going in my head, you know, that kind of thing. Makes me wonder in what direction the side is going. <clears throat> and if it's time to abandon it before... I don't, I don't know what kind of streamer this person is, but, um, if he's a, I almost want to say it's like the devil's bargain. Um, I don't, what, whatever becomes a, I've heard the word Twitch affiliate. I've heard a, a Twitch partner, like you had to have 500, you had to have, have 500 followers or something like that. Um, if, I, it, I'm having a hard, I'm having a hard time putting it, putting it into words, but I guess if it were me, ain't no need for me to abandon it. I mean, hell, I hardly get any visitors at all. I mean, again, it's low risk, low reward is what it, what it is with me. I mean, I don't have nearly the problems that this guy has, but then again, I've been streaming for uh, nine months, and I think I only have 22 followers. So, but, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go down the page. And like I always say, I'm not not trying to I'm not trying to expose anybody or invade their privacy or anything. But like I said before, it's easier for me to just talk it out than have to try to type it out. Send sarcasm in there. I think he's saying I'll uh, loosen up a bit. Trolling is always there. I've said that before too. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, it kind of parallels with more functions. I mean more malfunctions. Same thing here. Um, more viewers mean more trolls. So. Small streamers, I would think, wouldn't have wouldn't have the same kind of problems a big streamer has, which is also one of the reasons why I avoid them. Way too much going on. Plenty of older streamers. I'm one of them. Uh, okay, so he doesn't have a... 
I forget I forget the name of it. Uh, he doesn't have a flare that has his uh, Twitch channel on here, so I don't I don't I don't know what his description looks like. But uh, I am in mine in I don't know, in my channel description. I I state my age. I'm 45 years old, so they already know up front that they're dealing with an older streamer. Being a girl, I get asked a lot how old I am. Uh, in real life, it, I don't know who started it, but it's generally bad for them to ask a woman how old she is. So that's, that's kind of a ethics violation for lack of a better phrase. I start, I start telling people I'm 102. <laughs> tell them my normal age I think I'm too old anyway so if they find 102 too old <laughs> they don't have to watch my stream yes uh, where is it? there it is this is a word that I think in my opinion I'm seeing way too much uh, chill like chill stream I mean they're all I mean they're all going to be I think these days, they're all going to be chill. I mean, it's a word that gets tossed around way too much. Um, you know, for once, I would actually like to see, uh, I would like, actually like to see uh, some streamers, especially if they actually are, put down obnoxious in their description. Like, obnoxious streamer, or loudmouth streamer, total asshole. I'd like to see, I'd like to see some people put that in there for once. Because like, I'm... I mean, first off, this is especially true if you have a webcam. I mean, I can already see your webcam. You know, you're probably more like, in all likelihood, you're probably sitting behind, you know, sitting behind a desk, staring at a computer screen. You're, I mean, it's pretty obvious you're chill. But yeah, Bandisloth definitely nailed that one, so I'm liking that one. Ding, 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 ding. Just do it. Do what you normally do. Yeah, that's some. Looks like something else that Avalon Angel touched on here too. Uh, it. I mean, Twitch has been around for years. Streaming has been around for probably longer. And this, you know, it's not not mid to late 2000s or whenever streaming was first invented I mean it isn't like you know it's not like it's not like you have only one streamer to choose from you got tons of them hell that's probably one of the reasons why uh you know why I hardly get any viewers because the way twitch sorts the uh stream list you know it starts at the, at the top it starts at the highest viewer count and then works its way down to the bottom more often than not I'm down at the bottom so and I totally forgot what I was talking about. All right, I'll just move on. This. There's a there's a market for what you do. Yeah, she nailed it. Yep. Another way of looking at it, don't follow the herd. So don't watch them, but still look around for a channel you do. Okay, it's really nice seeing these kind of answers now. I mean, I'm... Hang on. I mean, I mean, I'm used, I mean, I'm used to people, you know, saying it like, you don't like it, don't watch them. If they're right, they can stream however they want. I mean, don't be one of them SJW Bermuda types. I mean, you're probably just jealous of them, you know, you know, and they get all snobby towards them. I mean, no. I mean, you know, it's really not being part of the solution there. Uh, 
Seven Copter One. I think I might write that down. Okay. Twitch is being catered to a younger community. Um, well, you got a minus one, but I mean, I can, I can definitely see where he's coming from on that, though. At least, uh, back when I was doing, uh, I mean, back before I was streaming, where most of my time was spent just watching other, other streamers on here, um, that's what I noticed too. The vast majority of them are uh, younger, not. Not like 12 years old and younger, but I sure as hell did hardly see any gray-haired streamers on here. I mean, very few of those. I mean, saw some balding streamers, but hell, I'm, hell I've even seen people in their late teens that were balding. So. Something that I've seen a lot on streams I've monitored and mod for as well. Small streamers reach a point where they either I'm assuming he's uh he that's that's a misspell right there. I think he was trying to say personality, which I don't do. Or deal with a slow growth rate. My growth rate has been slow ever since I first started streaming. Um, probably when I first started streaming, I think it was um, Diablo 3 on a PS4. And um, I guess I probably should say it too, uh, on uh, YouTube, when I streamed on YouTube for a very brief period, I actually did get more viewers on there than I did on Twitch. But um, it's YouTube's really not a good place to stream. I probably one big reason why is because uh, I like to play music when I stream especially when I play Final Fantasy 14 and uh, if I'm streaming on YouTube I can't do that <clears throat> anything that sounds like copyrighted music and this this also went for um, when I was uh, streaming Pinball Arcade um, I would actually try to export my Pinball Arcade videos to YouTube but um, there were a couple games I can't remember their names right now but uh even the fact that there are digitized versions on that were an integral part of a pinball machine, it doesn't matter to YouTube. It it just recognizes the melody and it flags my video for copyright. So that's one of the reasons why I don't stream on YouTube. It potentially there's the viewer there's more viewers on there than Twitch. Would it, again it's a, it, I, I'll, I'll I'll continue on. There's right now it feels like I'm playing twenty thousand dollar pyramid. $25,000, excuse me. A lot of niche categories like speed and resistance. Um, I guess. Goes over my head. Positive. This is another word that, to me, it's too nebulous. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those word, one of those catch words that go in one eye and out the other, kind of like um, kind of like a word like old fashioned, like on, like on soup, old fashioned soup. The word old fashioned just kind of goes in one eye and out the other. I just buy it because it tastes good. You know, I don't, I couldn't give two shits whether it's old fashioned. You, you could put uh, made by Keith Richards and it'd be still tasting great. I'd still buy it anyway. So this is the thing. Positive is one of those words. Um, <clears throat> and I'm kind of stuck on that word right now. I mean, positive could also mean non trolly which I'm pretty sure that a lot of the streamers out there that have that in their description, that's the, probably really what they're referring to. I'm not a troll. Um, 
stage is not at all denigrated. Okay, um... I probably... Back when I was uh, doing most of my viewing, most of the time where our age is uh, not denigrated is uh is from the older streamers. They're they're a lot more respectful to twelve year olds than the uh than the twelve year olds are would be to the old people. But like I said, I haven't really excuse me, I haven't really seriously watched any streamers and ever since I started streaming, so I don't know how that goes these days. He got minus three points, but basically, he basically said what I was complaining about some uh, some odd post back. You know, I was expecting a, <clears throat> usually whenever they say something like this, I was expecting a lot of, you know, like it, don't watch him. And so what? It's his stream, he can do whatever he wants with it. You know, and that's this statement here, and it sounds like a parallel with that. Kind of contradicts himself here. There, damn it! There are so many small communities, but then goes on here and says, "But those are small." Uh, which one is it? Okay, yeah, I'm starting. Uh, yeah, that, even the page breaks ain't gonna help. It's kind of a wall of text. It's almost out of the direction Twitch has gone towards. Okay, um, it's it. That stuff's just going one eye and out the other. I mean, Bob Rock. The big, loud hype memes. Yeah, um, because they're uh, more, more than likely, they're going to be at the bottom of the page. <laughs> I know this because this is where I'm often at, at the bottom. Um, Bob Ross channel. Well, Bob Ross is a freaking painting legend too. Um, he was, <clears throat> he was popular in the way back when too. I mean, he's, the, all the people that are watching his show back in the '80s had kids of their own, and probably raised their kids on the Bob Ross program, and they all thought it was great. I mean, it's, I mean, it's almost like the comic strip peanuts. You know, Charles Schultz, he's been, I mean, he was making that back in the 50s, but I mean, he's a legend these days. I mean, so, I mean, strong foundation. I think that's the word I was looking for. So, I mean, that, this doesn't really mean much. Okay, a lot of this is just going on one eye and not the other. Uh, yeah, and I gotta, I'm gonna have to cut it off here anyway, so. I gotta hop in the shower and I gotta I gotta lay down, I gotta work tonight, so um well thank you for watching. Um and until next time, take care.